bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. in the next 18 months or so. because he's desperate for validation, your host, George Camel. This is insane. This is madness. Who does this? That was rhetorical. Okay, well, first of all, how epic was that trailer? I just want to freaking run through the wall. Let's give it up to Joe Bauer, our very own video editor. Thanks. Thanks for Beautiful stuff, Joe. I also appreciate that standing ovation spontaneously. Very kind of you. I saw a few you didn't stand, probably the same ones who booed me when I wanted Amazon Echo and Bingo. What was that about? That was unnecessary. Anyways, uh, let's move on to something positive. How about those DJs, our very own Rave Damsey. Yep. Chris Wright, Zach Ford, talented guys. Yep. So if you can't tell by now, this isn't your mom's rock show, okay? This is the exact opposite of the 1990 Petra concert at Starwood Amphitheater. For those of you under 30, that was a Christian rock band that pioneered the genre, and Starwood Amphitheater was a venue before we had Ascend. Just a little uh, tidbit there. So let me tell you that the relief is here. Are you feeling it? Did you just feel the tension? Did we help you out there? Yeah. We addressed it, okay? No more complaining for the rest of the year. We're done with it. <laughs> Now, for those of you who I haven't got to meet yet, my name is George Camel, I work here. Been here for five years now, and I have the unique pleasure of hosting the Dave Ramsey Show video channel. I don't know any of you watch the show, because you're all working so hard, appreciate that. <laughs> Doing good stuff, and I also get to MC our live events all around the country. But let me tell you this, Ramsey Solutions, this is my favorite event I get to host all year long. <laughs> and usually, it's the highlight of my year, but I'm getting married this year. So, yes, Whitney's out there, appreciate you. <laughs> Lots of love, lol. Oh, uh, gosh, good times. So this is my third year hosting this, which is very exciting, and it's hard to top it every year. There's a lot of expectations, but let me just lower them right now, okay? This is what you get. 
and we're going to have a good time. So let me, uh, before we get into how this all works, I just want to give some love to the AV team. I mean, look at this room. You can't even see me. The speakers are so high that it blocks me. So I just want to give a shout out to them. They stayed many late nights making sure everything was plugged in right. The lights were perfect. The sound is perfect. The band sounded amazing. So let's get into it. Eight bands this year. And they're all team members. They're people who work here. This is their side gig. They put the time and the effort in. Some of them are honestly better at music than they are at their jobs, which is awkward. <laughs> Especially if they lose. They have music degrees from Belmont, and they're putting it to work. <laughs> all to win their name on a trophy. So, that's fun. we got four weeks of battle of bands this year. And each week you're going to see two bands come up here. But only one will move on to the finals. And here's the coolest part. You get to vote. It's up to you. So at the end of each week, we're going to do a text to vote. We'll put that information on the screen. And listen, this is a, it's basically a popularity contest. Okay, I'm sorry, popular, it's popular vote. So board members, it's not like the electoral college. Their votes don't count any more than yours. It's a fair playing field here. But let me tell you what's at stake. This year, of course, you're going to get a banner added to the wall of fame of Battle of the Bands and your name on the Battle of the Bands trophy, which is awesome. But you also get bragging rights forever. Because for some people, this is the biggest accomplishment of their lifetime, is winning a Battle of the Bands. So it's a big deal. And of course, there's a cash prize as well, which is also nice for their efforts. But it's like $2 once you do the math. You're going to see this uh, 18 band members come up here in just a second. So uh, you guys want to, you guys want to, are you good? Do you want to come up? Sorry, guys, I'm getting a call. Uh, it's a mortgage guy. No, it's all right. all right. Are you guys good? You're not gonna, you're good. You're ready to go. So you're just waiting on me. Okay, that's fine then. Well, this year we did something cool. I wanted to get to know the bands, especially with all these new team members. So I had a chance to sit down with them and grill them with the tough questions. For example, what do these band names mean? Why are they trying harder with this than they are with their actual jobs? The tough questions that we all want the answers to. So this first band I'm really excited about, Yacht Rock. Revolution. What a name. You can't have the word revolution and not be amazing, so you really set the expectation there. But I had a chance to sit down with them. They're a motley crew of C-word vagrants, as you'll see in just a second. <laughs> just kidding. They're just normal people with cool hats. Looks great, guys. Krispy Kreme really uh, took you to the cleaners on that one. Well done. Well, uh, what do you say we get started? You guys ready to go? Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> 